Good morning. Well, it rained most of the day yesterday and it's nice and breezy today. And I think it's gonna be a beautiful day here in the RV park. So welcome to my full-time RV van life as a nomad, a solo female traveler. I'm not a glamper and I'm not a vacationer. I am a full-timer and this is my life. Ups and downs, ins and outs. Me and my little companion. What is she doing over there? Hey, Vanio. There she is. She's enjoying the breeze. Oh, stretching. How you doing today, girl? I'm doing pretty good, Mom. Come on, let's show everybody what we do all day. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So that us stands this side away. Full-time RV life means you have limited space to live in if you're trying to be as minimal as possible like I do. So this is a look at my little camper. My I don't have my bed fully made today because it's been humid and I want to make sure that my mattress cover and my sheets get aired out and get rid of all that humidity. But we love our little home here and behind the curtain, like, don't pay attention to that man behind the curtain. Well, behind the curtain is my bathroom and two bunk beds, which if you want to watch one of my videos where I give you a full tour of my camper, you could see that there. And there's my little girl, Danny. Yep, she just chilling. Those are her pillows she likes to lay on. And this is my home and it's where I always hang my hat. Let's take a walk outside. I'm trying to declutter. I do have a full kitchen and a full refrigerator. Although I do not have an oven. And I did take out my microwave and made it into storage. In my RV life, if I buy something, I have to get rid of something because it's all about making sure that you don't have too much weight in your RV, depending on the size of your axle. I do have Starlink, so this will be uploaded with Starlink. I originally started, this is my little camp here right now today. I have a little fence for Danny. Danny's my dog. She's a Morky. She's six years old. She'll be seven in October. And um, I finally now got me a uh, Blackstone Grill. I keep calling it a Bridgestone. It's not a Blackstone Grill. I have my bike and I make PVC birds. That's my pelican that I My made. camper is 19 and a half feet long, not counting the nose. And I have a one-up rack for my e-bike for one, it's one bike carrier. I do carry a little gray tank with me, or blue boy, some people call it, but I just started doing that. I've had that for like two years and I rarely take it out, but when I'm in Illinois, I often take it with me. I started out pulling my camper with a Ford Explorer, but I found that it just wasn't enough storage for me. So I needed more. And I wanted to have a place to stay in the event my camper needed to go in for repairs and I had that happen to me already once. I got stranded in Texas. People were really nice. My van tows 6,400 pounds and is a Ford Transit 250 cargo van. I was looking for a passenger van 
because it already has the walls and the ceilings and the rear air conditioning and the carpet, but it wasn't available during the time when that chip prevented a lot of new vehicles from being manufactured. It's a little windy today, sorry. Uh, here we go, here's the van. Right now I'm in travel mode. I have my set power refrigerator that I can keep groceries in to and from the store, especially in the hard places like Arizona and Florida. I'm getting ready for a trip to Michigan. So I have some things packed in here. It's usually not this crowded. Extra water, extra soda, and ready for the Lollapalooza meetup in Texas in Abilene at the state park. I do have a bed. A rack for some coats. I put the ceiling in myself. Storage space. Some portable solar. And I use crates and put my t-shirts around them. My t-shirt collection from Lollapalooza t-shirts for all the years I've been attending. This year I am organizing the event. And some place to do some of my cutouts. Put Store my cutouts for my, my bird projects. I have what I call my smart cart. Underneath here, I have three 100 watt lithium batteries, a Renogy charge controller, 40 amp charge controller. And on my roof, I have installed two 100 watt flexible weatherproof solar panels. You can watch the series of videos of when I built out my van. I did it myself. And I installed my own panels and my solar and battery system. This is great in the event that I do get stranded or have to take in Shooting Star, which is the name of my camper, if I have to take Shooting Star in for repairs. Or if I just want to drop my trailer and take the van somewhere. And I have a bucket stored underneath the front seat for, you know what? the bucket toilet system. Yep. I did not reverse my seats in the front because in the event, I have some extra lights here, but in the event I have a passenger. I want to be able to have one of my grandkids right up front with me and Danny. We love our van. In the back of my van, I keep the brown boxes for Danny's fence. And in the back of my van is my garage. I have a blackout curtain so when I park, people can't see everything. But I have my clam. I have it standing straight up in a, a bucket. I'm going to be converting this big spray can into a small one that I bought. I bought a smaller one. And I have some portable items underneath here in my garage. I normally carry a 2000 Predator generator right there in that spot, but I have some items there that I'm taking with me to Lollapalooza and, be, and taking with me to Michigan. So I will be putting my generator back in here when I head for Texas in October. And then I just simply just put the fence up on top here. Put the fence up like this, close the door, and stow my pet playpen for my little four-legged best friend. We're not fancy, we're not glamping, we're just RV living full time. I carry two gas tanks, 
which is great when I'm out in the desert. I do have a 12 volt battery on the camper and I have portable solar that I can plug in to trickle charge. I could plug right here or directly to the battery to trickle charge my 12 volt battery in the event that I take the van out for the day. I can plug my camper into my van and run the entire camper off of my three lithium 100 watt batteries. Well, let's take it inside and get out of the wind. I'm gonna make a little sweet treat today since I am on a keto, low carb diet. It's gonna be one package of cream cheese, one package of Jello pudding, cheesecake pudding, sugar-free, sugar-free. I'm gonna use a teaspoon of strawberry extract. Some people use banana, I'm using strawberry. I'm gonna put in there one cup of a liquid. It's going to be a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Some people will use a whole cup of whipping cream, but I'm going to use um, a half a cup of heavy whipping cream and a half a cup of macadamia nut milk, which is really good. I'm going to blend that all up, and that's the only ingredients in it. Blend it all up and then use my little utensil here and make little treats, little ball treats. Put that in the freezer. And then after it's pretty, you know, sturdy or solid, I'll take those out and we will frost them. I'm gonna be honest, it tastes much better without the frosting, but if you like a little chocolate frosting on there, it does also taste good. Okay, in the freezer, here we go. Perfect spot right there. Usually that's where I put my popsicles. I hope you saw my popsicle recipe. Oh, they were so good. Okay, now let's frost them. They've been in there for over an hour and I'm gonna use this keto chocolate frosting. And it's all pretty much erythritol. You know, it's a um, imitation sweetener so it's one carb for a tablespoon but i'm not going to put a whole tablespoon on each little treat so i'm going to say it's probably a half a carb on each little treat if you do the math these treats come out to be 2.13 net carbs and then once you put the frosting on it figure almost three net carbs or just over two and a half net carbs put the little frosting on there and i'm going to put them back in the freezer mm -mm. don't those look good i had saved a couple for me to try even before they're totally finished and i'm gonna tell you they are yummy oh creamy and yummy she just loves going up in the van go ahead you want to go up there she goes there she goes and she loves to sit up actually in the front seat are you a full-time rv'er a glamper or a vacationer. Today is a beautiful breezy day and we are enjoying this RV park. As I said, it's a Thousand Trails Park and we have been here several times before. In fact, when I got my Starlink last year, this is the park that I set it up for the first time. It's a little breezy. We love it when it's breezy. We just don't like the flies. <laughs> our quick little tour and I hope you'll watch our channel RV Rebel Girl. I'm Carolyn and this is Diva Danny. If you would subscribe, smash the bell for notifications and share my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. I would really 
you know, encourage you to watch for, if you're looking for the real truth about being a nomad and being full-time, watch the full-timers. If you want to know what the weekend warriors do and what the glampers do and what the vacationers do, then watch the vacationers. But also, watch all the videos because you will learn some good things from vacationers and you will learn some great things from glampers. It depends on the lifestyle that you are able to live. <laughs> so if you're not able to afford to be a glamper, then you might check out some of the van lifers and the full-time RVers. And that's us. We're full-time RVers, van lifers. I love the fact that I can just drop my trailer in a safe place and take the van and take a small mini trip. It's great because I have the bed, I have a refrigerator, and I have a bucket. And I carry water. I have a membership for Planet Fitness, which I can go to any Planet Fitness anywhere in the United States because I have a black card. It's been a lifesaver for me. So right now I'm kind of glamping because I have full hookup. But many times I boondock out in the desert and we stay out there for one or two months at a time. And you have to look for places to get water and you have to look for places to dump and you rely on the sun, the God's gift of the sun to power your home on wheels. That's why I love the fact that I now have solar and I can run my entire home off of solar. I have 400 watts of portable solar and 200 watts on the roof of my van, which allows me to run everything I need. And I can sustain out into the desert for a month. serve my water. Sometimes I have to go to town and get water, but yeah, and go get supplies and grocery shop. But we love our van life and our RV life. We hope you'll join us in our videos and travel with us. We really like to have your company along the road. Great day and stay tuned for our next video.